Hey there YouTube, to Extreme MX here, and I'm going to do a quick review on the uh, battery desulfator. Um, unfortunately I lost all my footage of the start numbers and the end numbers of the charging of the units. Um, what, I'm do what I did is I actually did my wife's E450's battery, uh, did my wife's Raptor 350 battery, and I also have a 12 volt battery for a Chinese four-wheeler. So 125 cc Chinese four-wheeler here and most people that have owned one of these or own these know that the batteries only last a couple months and they start to crap out. Now again that battery issue is the same as most all battery issues it's just for some reason they're more susceptible I think it's because they're only a 4 amp hour battery as you can see down here 12 volt 4 amp hour so I'm thinking that because it's such a low amp battery it actually starts to you know have sulfur build up a little bit faster but originally when I started the four wheeler the little Chinese four wheeler would not start didn't even click um, I checked the battery's voltage, it was setting at 7.6 volts, mind you it is a 12 volt battery. Um, I put it on charge, managed to get the charge up to 9.7 volts, um, and it wouldn't go any higher. Um, I then proceeded to connect the Infinium desulfator up to the unit, which to hook it up it has two simple wires here a red wire and a green wire and it just goes red wire positive uh, black red wire and black wire red wire positive black wire to negative and then you just took your battery charger up to it you know and as it's charging this unit is doing its job now that I have I let it charge for about two days on a two amp trickle charge with my charger there let set for two days charging um, I have my voltmeter here let's see it's yeah, I hit it on macro and as you see here it is on voltage uh, we'll go here positive negative come down battery is now sitting steady at 12.96 volts so it does seem to be that this unit did what it's advertised to do um, rejuvenates the battery um, this battery has sat since the 29th today is now the second it's sat since the yeah 29th off charge and it's still maintaining 12.96 volts. Um, we have the 350 Raptor battery back here. I did the charge um, right before, and this one is setting right at 12.77 volts. Now we'll check my YFZ battery, and what we have here, 12.84. Now all 12 volt batteries should have between 12.7 and 12.9 volts um, that's a good battery so as you can see here with the numbers that I'm showing you off these these batteries are all basically pretty much like brand new and as you can tell this battery is not a brand new battery this is a well used battery for a Chinese four wheeler um, here's a YFZ battery you see it's well scratched up it's not a brand new battery so I did not switch it out and here's the Raptor 350 very well used battery um, this came out of an 05 and I think this is the original battery that was in it and as you can see it's it's definitely a well used battery but all these batteries are now at peak charge they're at full voltage and they should work fine in my four wheelers now. Um, this is the unit I got in Finidum. I 
believe that's how it's pronounced. I mean, I'm not sure. Um, units run approximately right around 50 bucks all together shipped. I think it was more like 46. I got the FedEx shipping um, because they do come from Malaysia. Um, if you go standard rate, you're looking at almost two weeks wait for it. Um, if you need something right away, it's worth the extra six dollars to upgrade to the FedEx um, shipping. They even delivered it on a Saturday for me, which was a surprise. Um, here's the package that it comes in. And this is all it is. Just the unit here, two wires, two lights. You know, it hooks right on your battery. You can leave it on your battery if you like, or you can do what I did. Um, hook it up, let the battery charge on a trickle charge for a couple days. And then put the battery, you know, take it off and put the battery back in your, you know, four wheeler, dirt bike, you know, even it works even on cars. The same exact unit that I use on these batteries here works on all 12 volt. Um, I believe it's lead acid batteries. Um, just say here lead acid sealed lead acid batteries, glass mat batteries, gel batteries deep cycle batteries. I mean pretty much all your everyday 12 volt automobile, RV, um, utility vehicle batteries. Anything that's 12 volt that's what we'll work on. Um, I'm going to put a link. Um, the only place I found these is on eBay. Um, the guy on there is really cool. Again like I said, um, cost me $12 uh, for the FedEx shipping and I got it here. Um, right before Christmas. Um, I wasn't s expecting it until after Christmas, but I got it before Christmas, so I was able to do the charging and get this video done. <coughs> but um, check them out. Um, I do support these units. These, uh, I'm telling you right now, that just saved me what three batteries, 90 to 120 dollars, right there. Um, my battery, my wife's battery, and this battery were all poor charge. Um, mine was setting at 11 volts even after charge um, on the charger overnight. Um, my wife's battery is setting at 10.3 volts after trickle charge overnight. And this battery again, like I said, only got up to nine point something after a trickle charge overnight. Then I hooked the units up, let them trickle charge for about two days. Um, the unit did its work, and now as you've seen, they are all at peak voltage. Um, I myself I like this unit um, I do recommend this unit so if um, you are having problems with the battery um, check the link in the sidebar um, or bottom corner there I'll be posting a link to this guy's web page or eBay page so that way you can pick up your own um, don't be fooled by the descriptions as long as it says it's a 12 volt unit it can be used on all 12 volt batteries cars RVs everything you know your own home solar system too this will work great on solar systems. Just put it in line, keep it there. Your batteries will last, and they they stay here three times longer. And people who have solar systems know that it gets quite expensive when you have to keep replacing batteries every year, two, three years. Um, be able to go ten years without changing one of your solar batteries would be great. But again, I do support this unit. Um, if you're having problems with a battery, pick this up. This thing is awesome. You will love it. Um, Again, this is 2 Extreme MX, and have fun riding.